Hi everyone, this is Pretty Grumpy Bear. In this video, I'm going to talk about another aspect of this teaser image. I said in my previous video, this image is named "What Can We Use," and I said this means Five Nights at Freddy's Three is a sequel. I was too excited; I didn't even elaborate my point. Just jump to the conclusion. Now let me show you my thought process. After we beat Night Six in Five Nights at Freddy's Two, there's a newspaper under the check we receive, and it's titled "Robots Scrapped." It says the new animatronics will be scrapped due to possible malfunctions. This is the reason why I think this image implies Five Nights at Freddy's Three is a sequel, because this box is filled with toy animatronic parts. This matches the description of the newspaper. It's the scrap from Five Nights at Freddy's 2 Diner, and the file name "What Can We Use?" I think implies that someone is looking at this box of scraps for something useful, presumably to start a new animatronic diner. So I think this has to happen after Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But the question is, is Five Nights at Freddy's 3 going to be a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's 1 as well? You may think if it's a sequel. Then the timeline should be Five Nights at Freddy's Two, Five Nights at Freddy's One, then Five Nights at Freddy's Three. But I have a different idea in mind. What if Five Nights at Freddy's Three is a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's Two, but a prequel to Five Nights at Freddy's One? Now this timeline would contradict something we already know: the hidden message on SkyGames.com. Thirty years later. I said in my previous video that I believe this means Five Nights at Freddy's 3 happened 30 years after the opening of the first animatronic diner. Now, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is probably happened in the early 90s. If Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is before that, then that means the first animatronic diner should be opened 30 years before the 90s. That would put the time at around late 50s or early 60s. It's a bit too early. I'm not sure animatronic technology exists at that point. But then, what goes for this argument? First of all, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 may not be immediately followed by Five Nights at Freddy's 1. The newspaper says original characters are being kept in hopes of a possible reorganization of the company. But the animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 is not the repaired version of these old characters in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. They are newly designed. Fitted with new style of endoskeleton, the animatronic suits look quite different. So we're not sure if Five Nights at Freddy's 1 inherited the old animatronic directly from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. In fact, it could be the diner in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 inherited the old animatronic, trying to fix them properly, but they lack parts. So they search through the box of scrapped toy animatronics. Trying to find what parts they can use to repair these old animatronics. Secondly, this is a box of scrap. More precisely, trash. They probably won't be kept so long. If someone wants to reopen an animatronic diner after Five Nights at Freddy's One, I think they would look for parts from Five Nights at Freddy's One diner instead of from an earlier diner. Thirdly, the phone guy. We know the phone guy died or faked his death in Five Nights at Freddy's One. He may not be a character as important as the animatronics, but he still has a big role in the story. Five Nights at Freddy's won't be the same without the phone guy. He's also an important NPC that guides the player through the nights. If Five Nights at Freddy's Three happens before Five Nights at Freddy's One, that means phone guy can appear again. Last but not least, the surprise element. Scott Cawthon is a really good storyteller. He knows how to make people satisfied. Last time, he tried to make us believe that Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is a sequel. The phone guy talked about what happened in the old location, misguiding us to think that he means the diner in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Then, bam! It's a prequel. That's very surprising and creative. It sparked so many discussion, arguing if Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is a prequel. I think he is smart enough to pull something like this once more. What do you guys think? Could Five Nights at Freddy's 3 be a pre-sequel? Leave a comment below. Tell me your thoughts or tweet me. My Twitter handle is at PGB Game. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any Five Nights at Freddy's theory videos. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.